Today I want to do a little bit of Home Buyer 101 as well as talk to you guys about what's happening in the market and appraisals. So today we're going to be doing a little overview on appraisals. Yes, appraisals, appraisals. Um, people often ask me when they get into contract on buying a house, hey, do I need to order the appraisal? No, the lender will order your appraisal. Okay. Now if you're like, oh, well, they said the other buyer had an appraisal. Can I use that? Only if it's VA or an FHA appraisal. Those are the only two appraisals we can use on a property and they have to be within a certain period of time, blah, 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 blah. Overall, you just need to keep in mind, you are not responsible for ordering the appraisal. The lender will order it. Okay. Now it is a question you want to ask your lender, especially right now. I, I know I've done videos before where I'm like volumes through the roof. Every time I think that the market won't blow up anymore, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So first we had the refinance boom still going on. Now we have a purchase boom, unlike anything I've seen before. And I think it's because, you know, people were locked in their houses looking at Zillow and they realized, oh, I don't like this or I don't like that. And looking at Zillow or Realtor.com or any of those websites is a great escape. I mean, it's why I'm in Carmel now <laughs> part time. This is the new Carmel office. It needs some art. Uh, it's very overcast here, so gonna need some new lights. Um, yeah, it's because people were trapped inside. So we're seeing this huge surge of activity. Well, what comes with activity is appraisers get behind. Mm hmm. Yeah. Appraisers get behind title and escrow officers are behind lenders. Everyone's behind. Everyone's behind except for realtors. Realtors always want to move faster. Love you guys. Um, not always, but yeah, it's because there's so much volume. So it's very important right now to ask your lender, Hey, when can you order the appraisal? Now, for instance, with FHA, I can't order it until you sign your loan disclosures, which we issue within two days of receiving your contract. Um, the legal guidelines, three days of receiving the contract. However, we're usually aiming to do it as quick as we can. It's just, we've got to get fees from title and escrow or the attorney. And once again, with that volume stuff where we could snap our fingers and we'd have it. Sometimes we have to snap, snap, stock, snap, stock to get it. So it can take a couple days. Um, with a conventional loan, we order it day one, day one. Like the second I get that contract, my team is ordering that appraisal. The reason we are doing that is because, I mean, first of all, we've always done it that way. It's just the way my team works, but it's also because the appraisers have so much volume right now. I need to get it back. And if I want to get it back, I need them to have as much time as possible. So if I order it on day one, they have a better chance of hitting the timeline that you have in your contract. Um, depending on what state you are, you're in, you may have 14 days for appraisal, 17 days for appraisal, um, or there may not be an appraisal contingency, but there are some places where they want the appraisal back within 10 days. And that can be incredibly challenging if the lender's not ordering it up front. Okay. So you really want to ask, when are you going to order my appraisal? Same thing with VA. Oh my goodness. We are ordering those appraisals the second we can. And it's because stuff where last month, seriously, last month I could get an appraisal in seven days in the same market. I'll see that it's going to take me 14. That's what's happening guys. There's so much activity appraisers who, you know, had 10 a month now have a hundred and it's because you've got the refinance and the purchase purchases, you know, climaxing at the same point. It's out of control, out of control. So, you want to make sure your lender is ordering it up front. Now, if you're like, well, my friend Susan is an appraiser. She'll give me a discount. Yeah, totally can't use Susan guys. I can't use anyone you recommend. I don't get to pick either. So the way the regulations work around appraisers is it needs to be an independent third party that selects the appraiser. And that's because there was so much corruption back in the day. Like I would hear the stories about, I'd be like, wait, how do they finance it? That house is a total dump. It doesn't meet guidelines. You know, it's missing a bathroom. And I'd hear, oh, well, he just gave the, the appraiser a bottle of wine, they're friends. <sighs> to all the sleazy people, thank you so much for making it so much more difficult for the ethical ones. Um, yeah, so there's tons of regulations around appraisers. I'm not allowed to call an appraiser, period. So if you're like, Jen, can you call the appraiser? No, I can't. Can the realtor call them? Sure. Can I? Absolutely not. I'm not allowed to. Mm -hmm. And it's because there was so much corruption in the industry. 
lenders, the originators, we are not supposed to reach out to appraisers, period, at all. Okay. Um, now if you're like, okay, my realtor wants to use one of these four appraisers. Once again, can't take suggestions and it's because of all the corruption in the past. So, you know, we don't know if your appraiser's buddies with Bob and Paul and Jane, and if they're just going to say it's worth what you're buying it for. We need an independent party to verify that the amount you're paying for the house is accurate. If it's someone's buddy, how accurate is it? And, and, and here's the thing. So I was actually talking to a client the other day and they're like, oh, I hope my realtor knows this person. So it comes in at value. And I was like, I actually corrected him. I'm like, no, you need to hope that the appraiser does an honest and ethical appraisal so that you don't overpay for the property. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. You want an honest and ethical appraiser who verifies the, the property's worth what you're paying for it. Because I don't know about you guys, I don't want to pay more for a property than it's worth. Why would I want to reverse my equity position up front? And I know there's a total different school of thought that's like, oh, well, it's going to be worth that. Well, that's cool. Like, I mean, there's some new brands that one day will be more expensive because they'll be considered designer. Do I want to pay designer prices on a non-designer brand right now? No, of course not. I want to get it cheap and then I want it to be worth a designer brand because then I make money. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. Um, Condition, same thing, you know, appraisers are not home inspectors, so you need to understand that's not an appraiser's job. However, it is their job to let the lender know if there's any health and safety issues. So one that I've seen a couple times over the past few years is someone will start to build a deck and stop. Maybe it's a California thing, I don't know. But then you'll have these doors where if you open up the door and you step, you will fall 10 feet. Okay. That's a health and safety violation. That door needs to be not a door or there needs to be a bars or something so that people can't fall to their death. Appraisers are looking for stuff like that as well. So they're looking to make sure the value is correct, the house is in average or better condition, and there's no health and safety. Another issue that would be a health and safety would be exposed wiring. Um, those are really the ones I see the most, the, the decks of doom, you know, rotten decks too. And, and it could be a California thing. We have so many rotten decks. We're like, you know, a realtor was telling me the other day that the appraiser fell through the deck. I'm like, well, I'm sure that went well, right? I mean, there's all these things and appraisers look at that. So you just really want to be mindful that you don't have to order the appraiser appraisal. You don't get to pick the appraiser. Your realtor does not get to pick the appraiser. The lender has to order the appraisal. We're ordering it from an independent party so that your appraisal is honest and ethical and independent. Mm -hmm. Independent, meaning no one is influencing that appraiser. They get a copy of the purchase contract, they go out, they see if there's comparable sales, and they come back. That's it, okay? So make sure you guys are asking your lenders up front right now to order your appraisal as soon as possible. If someone's telling you they can't order your appraisal until they have loan approval, uh, unless you have like a 90 day close, that is a problem. And also it's unusual. So it's really something where if like I've qualified someone, I know they're strong. I always order the appraisal day one. Okay. Only time I'm not going to do that is if the borrower says to me, Hey Jen, can you wait a week to order the appraisal because I have some concerns about the inspection and I wanna get the home inspection first. Then I would delay the appraisal because the thing for you guys to know is the appraisers, once again, are independent third-party companies. So if an appraiser goes out to a property and appraises it and, and you decide you don't wanna buy the house, you still need to pay that appraiser because he did his job. And once again, independent third-party company. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have questions or comments, please reach out. If you have anyone who's graduated from college and doesn't know what they wanna be when they grow up, tell them to be an appraisal, appraiser, because we need some. The industry is does not have enough appraisers. Um, the demographic is on the, the older side for sure. We need new blood in the appraisal arena, and there is a lot of work, and some of those guys make really good money. So if you graduated from college, because I believe that's a pre-requirement, if someone wants to um, correct me, please do. Check out being an appraiser. You set your own hours, you do what you want, make good money. <laughs> so thank you.